Welcome to Six Twelve Beer Review. He's Shag Dog. I'm Jammer. <laughs> He's Jammer. And we have a super duper co-host, Jammer fan. Jammer. Oh, oh fuck. Jammer. Ah. Yeah. Let's ask. Ask Javier ask. or Jorge, Jorge Pablo, Jorge Pasquale. 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 what Pasquale. he has for us. Shag Dog. Why are we supposed to get that out? Why are we so Shag Dog. What the hell are you doing? You're ripping a new one. Build the top of the front legs. Uh, we're doing Dos Equis. Special Lager, or as they say, Lager Especial. Because I should have typed it that way. Yeah, you should have typed it that way, yes. But they had it typed out another way, lager spot. All right. Lager, so, eh, I mean. Oh, oh. My cat, cat purrs out there. There it is, the typical Dos Equis double X. All right. Let's put the X in sex. That's a great song by Kiss. Okay. Probably don't remember that I'll one. I'll take your word for that one. That was on her Smash is Trash and Hit, one of her greatest hits. Yeah, when they come out with greatest hits albums. Yeah, well. They add one or two songs. How many did they have? Five? Greatest hits albums? No, five hits. No, they have more than five hits. Well, maybe not. But their biggest hit was Beth, if you believe that. Their biggest hit in England, believe it or not, was... I can believe Beth was the biggest hit. Yeah. Guess what their biggest hit in England ever was? Crazy nights. You believe that? These are crazy, 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 crazy nights. Yeah, a lot of repetition. I believe it. Sometimes days are so hard to survive. I want to rock and roll all night. I don't like Kiss after they got the Mega Bag on all of them. I, I only like like four or five of their songs. That's really? It. I can't believe it. How about you, Jerry Fran? How many Kiss songs do you like? You're young. Um, I like all of them, man. But like, um, you guys gotta oh, help me. Didn't they? Didn't they do the soundtrack for Highlander? Or didn't they do some no, like movie? That, that was Queen. Ah, uh, well, who Highlander did was Kiss, Queen. Queen. Kiss did. Kiss did. And, no, they did so, uh, I am the mortal, and they did. Uh, I have inside me blood of kings. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up. I just thought I thought Queen also did a soundtrack for a movie too. Yeah, they did. Highlander and Flash. No, but Kiss yeah. didn't. Kiss didn't. Kiss also. I mean, I meant Kiss. Didn't they also do a movie soundtrack? No, no. probably their own movie. Kiss of the Fa- meets the Phantom Opera. I don't know. Yeah, Kiss meets the Phantom of the Opera. Didn't they do like at least do that? Like I just thought they did something, man. I think they probably used some of their old songs in that one. Yeah, yeah you know, that was a horrible movie. Because Queen, uh, they right. they did. I mean, and the songs themselves stand like Flash Gordon. Flash. Like yeah, Queen actually yeah. was better than Kiss. Oh no, I mean Kiss got a lot. Uh, if you go back, I can name a whole bunch of songs: Deuce, uh, Strutter, Strutter. Yeah, yeah but, you know, Let me put it this way: way back, yeah. Queen was better. He was probably musically, musically, and. And in one way, uh, just the fact of memorable songs. Well, for me, I could name more Kiss songs than Queen songs. Bohemian just, Rhapsody. Yeah. Uh, crazy Little Thing like Called Love. Yeah. Uh, another One Bites the Dust. Right. right. Uh, we Will Rock You. Yes. Um, we Are the Champions. We Are the champ. Flash Gordon. Flat Bottom Girls. Yep. I can eat more kiss, though. So. Right there's about 10, right? Yeah. Probably. All right, back to Dos Equis. Uh, <laughs> crafted in Mexico since 1897 and originate, uh, originally called, what is that? Uh, Singlo Double X. Oh, oh, because it's something about the century. Uh, celebrate century. the arrival of the 20th century yeah. Dos Equis Lager is an authentic Mexican cerveza brewed in the style of Pilsner lagers. It is known uh, for its signature aroma and perfect balance of flavor and refreshing uh, and refreshment. Sorry. Salute. Salute. Now I have a question for you, Shag Dog. Do you still have any of the amber versions of that left? Because we reviewed an amber version. Do you still yeah, have gonna, any ambers? We're going to do that. Yeah. You guys got that? Okay, I was curious because that's an yeah. interesting take on the same formula. 
Yeah, I got a six pack. Jammer's laughing. Why are you laughing, Jammer? You because I knew you would ask that. I was thinking to myself, I bet you a million one because I was thinking we were going to do the amber yeah. first. Yeah, because unfortunately, oh. I had to buy a six pack of both of them just to get them. So. Why didn't you just buy one six pack and toss one of the other bottles in it? That's that's uh, that's illegal. Some people would call it retail theft. <laughs> yeah, it is retail. But theft. you're buying it, I mean, and it's, it's the same, same price. price. Yeah. <laughs> I put the green one, green one, and three and three. Yeah, three. That's what I should have done. Mm -hmm. See if I got away with it. You probably would have. Most cashiers just, yeah. especially if you go through self checkout. Especially if you mix them like right. green, brown, green, and on the other side, brown, green, brown. Oh, it's yeah. the Cinco de Mayo special. Yeah. All right, back to the beer. <laughs> oh, anyhow, I love it. I love it. Beer advocate. I love it, guys. I love it. Adjunct lager. 4.2% ABV, so it's almost like a light lager, although they don't call it light. Isn't that weird? I don't know if it says 4.2 in the bottle. Uh, and it's year-round. And the name of the brewery is Cervecia Jammer can say it better than I can. Uh, Cuauhtemoc Matazuma. Yeah. You know that. What? The famous Mexican guy. Aztec in or whatever. No, I don't see it here. Uh, <clears throat> The guy who liked chocolate. The guy who liked chocolate. I can't see it. Yeah, All right. Big, big, big. Okay. Uh, Got a... Well, well, very clear. It's a, kind of a pale. Yeah, yellow. pale, clear, golden. Maybe a slight... Typical beer look for a pilsner or a lager. So can I ask you guys a quick question? Yeah. Would you say this is on the same level as a Modelo Especial as far as quality? Is this a competition to that beer? Uh, well, I don't think Jammer can compare because you haven't had a Mode regular Modelo in a while, right? The last time we did the Cinco de Mayo Special. Yeah, Would you say that it's in the same category, though, price-wise or like – Oh, probably. The Modelo is usually more expensive. Is it more expensive? I don't know. I don't buy. So, it so, beers. so is Modelo expected to be a better beer than Dos Equis? Then, if I you were to so. go to a party, I think, uh, just by price alone, being that it's usually more expensive around here, that is expected to be better than the Dos Equis. It's really so. Is so? Does that stack up? I guess my final question for you, gentlemen, is Dos Equis a lesser beer than the Modelo Special? I think from uh, my experience with Dos Equis in recent years, back in the day, I would say that it really would compete against any of them. But now, not so much because I'm tasting more corn and more adjunct than, okay. you know, of course, I haven't tried it yet. So, you know, I'd have to dig into this and see and then compare because yeah. we're going to do the Modelo uh, Special too. No, we don't. I don't have that. Which Modelo do you have? None. We had the Modelo Chalada. We have a Modelo in there. Oh, the Negra. The Negra, okay. Yeah, we got a Modelo Negra. Yeah. All right. The Modelo Black. Yeah. We got that. That's actually my favorite Modelo, honestly. What's that? I mean, the Modelo Negra is, uh, is, is an excellent beer. If you guys are going to review that, I would love that. Yeah, go get one. We'll, we'll wait for you. <laughs> That's not going to happen, guys. It's actually I, – I, I would never drive drunk, but driving drunk on fucking Cinco de Mayo is suicide. Like, right. who the fuck would do that? I, I'm going to have to tonight when I go home, but I, I take a nap on Jammer's couch, wake up about 3 4 in the morning, <laughs> I should be good to go. Well, don't do it, dude. Like, add an, add an extra two hours to whatever you think you need and then, then go. Well, oh, you know? my problem is I can't sleep. Usually, so I have to go. I just can't sit here and watch, uh, you know, old TV shows all night. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll watch uh, a movie while he he basically kills himself twenty times in the night. Yeah, sleep after. Yeah, he'll Ugh. and then he stops breathing, and then I watch yeah. him. And he's like, Ugh. oh Jesus Christ! Well, <laughs> yeah. You're Hopefully a good friend, Jammer. You're Hopefully a good I'm friend. working out. It won't happen tonight. We'll see. You yeah. Tell me. All right, so the smell? I'm going to film it. 
It smell like cat piss. A little soapy smell. You got soap smell in there? I have a so- soapy smell. All right. Well, I'm going to butt in, Shag Dog. And you said the same thing when we were having the Modelo. You interpreted soapy as being like a bar of soap, which would be p- pine and floral. So are, yeah. you, are you getting pine and floral? I'm getting soap. I'm getting a little floral notes, but no uh, soapiness. No pine? So... Not really I think that pine. my nose well, is retarded. The floral. So you guys are uh, getting floral. Of course, I'm not getting cat piss either. So, <laughs> All right, but floral. Floral's in there, right? Floral's in the game. Yeah, I'll give the soapy this a floral rating, I guess. And and we've already d- determined that this is going to be a lesser quality beer than Modelo. So if you get anything other than corn piss, you're probably, you know... We're on the right track. On the right track. Yeah. Corn piss and soap. Or I said cat piss. Yeah. I, I think it's more piss corn soap. piss. It's yeah, more corn piss. corn piss. I don't know what corn piss is, but cat well, piss and well, soap. We're on the right track. It's a good gonna be a good beer. All right. Tastes like so kitty, tastes like kitty litter. So it's so a win. So All right. Well, jammer, I instead of corn piss, I will say a grainy corniness with a slightly catty floral ammonia e kind of bite that might come on the back end. It's kind of weak. It is really weak and watery. Weak and watery, yeah. Tastes like cat piss without a cat. But what about sessionability, fellas? Shag Dog and I determined that for Cinco de Mayo, session ability has like an extra handicap. It's like in golf. Like, the more sessionable you are, you get bonus points if it's in Cinco de Mayo, man. Like, it's like corn. it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. Got corn in it, that's for sure. It's easy to drink. Does it coat your throat? Does it float your boat? Man, are you getting like some session ability out of this guy? A little corn. Being that it's watery and doesn't have watery. really all that much flavor yeah. whatsoever, the right. sessionability would be uh, way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you you don't have much flavor at all to it. Um, this makes the 20th century, both get, decades, look like uh, a I and an X. 19. Wait, is that nine? Nine. Now you're being German. <laughs> Roman numerals, I'm Italian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's not got much flavor. I get corn. Nine. I get a slight uh, <laughs> I like that. I malt, that yeast, breadiness, you know, just a very faint. Yeah, it's very weak. Uh, and I mean, it's a heat. And, and, and people heat. give me crap. People give me crap when I say my name is Jammer Fan, but Jammer one of the reasons I've been a fan is that he's very like me scientific. Like he's like, it was yeah, like, he was science, like, science it, it's like listening right. to a computer. No, like, like listening to jammer say those notes. It was like listening to a computer proxy, like processed it like a computer. And he was like, blah, 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 and like spit out like this like, yeah. specific information. Here, let me check. He's really a computer. I want it to like those ones in Star Trek. Just tell me, I want to eat a fucking pizza with, Whatever I am, fit it up. If you would have said T, Earl Grey, ha, I would have been like, oh, yeah. you know. But, but do they do that in Star Trek Next Generation? Next Generation? Oh, because sometimes they go up to Whoopi and just tell her what they <laughs> do. Go up to Whoopi Gilbert. Whoopi turns around and says, I don't like you. Yeah. Gives them life advice and then tells them, I don't like the way. What do you really want? Yeah. I asked you for a pizza. <laughs> yeah, but what you really want? Yeah, uh, so who's giving you flack about being Jammer fan? Yeah. What? Nobody is. Oh, you said people razz you about being named Jammer fan. Oh, I just met Shag Dogs razzing me. He yeah. razzes me. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. But not, Lay off a Jammer fan. Not for that. I mean, not for being your fan. Just... 
I said, told him earlier, if you ever were here physically with us, you would need a real nickname, not Jammer. Because, hey, welcome to Spare Swallowbeer. I'm Shag Dog, I'm Jammer, and I'm Jammer Fan. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what you were saying about the pine? Actually, it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I get that at the very end, like a slight, faint pine flavor. You get that out there? A uh, very faint, uh, very faint. Everything on this is very muted. It's very weak. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very drinkable. Yeah, session ability outstanding. Yeah, you can drink these all day. Probably. And it, and it doesn't have much flavor, so it you're is, not messing up. And it's four point two, so it's almost like a light beer. So that corn and it everything is, is not sticking out like in the uh, other uh, the Corona one. And I think that's the problem with Dos Equis. It's four point two. I think it used to be higher back in the day. Mm -hmm. Why is it not Dos Equis like if it's four point two percent? I swear it used to be higher, four point five or something. It was. I don't know. If it wasn't, then. Then they should never call it Dos Equis. Oh, I forgot. I need to do my cap toss. Huh? It should have been Dos. I didn't do a cap toss. What do you mean you didn't do a cap toss? You forced me to do a cap toss. I didn't force it. You did too. It was in that video. If you didn't cap toss in that video, it don't count. You didn't say whose turn it was. Oh, my God. You knew it was your turn. No, I didn't. Because I'm not always. You hear this, Jan Ravan? He's trying to change the rules. I wasn't even told. Because sometimes we do some caps. And you like we only do the cap toss challenge. Cap, what? cap, cap, go cap, cap, no, cap, go ahead. cap, cap. I'm gonna bounce it off to the ceiling and onto the camera for two points. All right, go for you it. ready? Shit, I missed and that you much. Wasted and wasted your shot. Yeah, I know, but I only missed that. Was a waste. That was a waste. You hit the wire. I hit the wire, which is harder than the camera. But still, no and it counts as a half point. No. <laughs> As cap commissioner, I award Jammer one half a point. No, you ah, you have no there you go. That's a half a point, man. That's not that much. It's a half a point, Shag Dog. It's, it's still fair. a half point more than zero. <laughs> it's yeah, still it's I a half point. A wire. But now you hit you hit the ceiling. A, a you hit the ceiling. Hit that the doesn't count. He hit nothing. I'm a half a I'm point. Fair, dude. Him, don't complain. Oh, no. No, I won't complain if you actually hit the camera. Yeah. But I came this close. I mean, you couldn't see it, but I did it off the ceiling, and it came this far in front of the camera, right in front of it. That's pretty I know Jammer. I, 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 that's I, that. Jammer, that should be a half point. Do we need to make an exception? He, is there an injustice going on here? Yeah. It's, oh, wait. Tech 9, is he here right now? It is the half point because we always said you have to hit the camera. Nothing with the wire or if there was a base to the camera. It was always well, the camera. you hit the wire. I've given you it. No, you but haven't. In the past, when you've hit the post or the wire, I had given it. Tech no, man. Tech nerd. Tech nine. Hey guys. Yeah. No, I was saying, dude. Like Tech nine might be here. Right. I think he. I think Tech nine's here, dude. I, you got. Yeah. He's watching, dude. Well, then why don't you guys say what's up to him? Because, dude, Tech Nine's the shit. So you guys need to be like, what the fuck is up on Cinco de Mayo? You guys that's need why, to be like, dude. That's why I put his comment up. All right. Well, then why don't you guys give him a shout out? I'm going to shut the fuck up. Why don't you guys give him a shout out? <laughs> if we can get it word in edgewise. <laughs> Tech Nine. Welcome, on. Tech Nine. Just Cinco de Mayo. Fiesta! Especial! Extravaganza! Spectacular! Arriba! Andale! Alright. Hey, who's your top five Mexican wrestlers ever? <laughs> well, I will start with. You have like I know. Fridge and I, I have extra beer for you. Mike. Libra. What's his name? Libra. Cubra, whatever, Libra. That's a drink. Oh, that's a drink. I go vote for that. Cuba Libra. <laughs> the Cuba Libra. The only ones I can remember Tito wow. Santana. Huh? Uh, of course. What was the guy's name? The guy Girl. who does the stupid Schoolhouse Rock movie and everything else. Oh, uh, Jack Black. He yeah. was, uh, Nacho Libre. Yeah, Nacho Libre. Nacho. That's my favorite Mexican. That's your favorite Mexican. I like that one. That's our number one Mexican wrestler. Ray Mysterio Jr., maybe? 
Tito Santana. Machio. Ray Machio. <laughs> I don't know if there's a Ray Machio. What was his name? Hector Camacho. No, <laughs> Machio. Guy, he stood on a vlog and he did all these weird movements. You don't remember him? He had the little guy, little guy, short guy, short little Mexican guy. He was the master. <laughs> Is that a comedy show? Camera fan knows what I'm doing. Yeah, I, don't know. I know. Yeah, I know what you're doing. It's not Fred Flintstone a little. No, bit. you know the guy. Is this Cheech and Chong? <laughs> no, it's not Cheech and Chong. Ralph, Ralph Macchio. Yeah, Ralph Macchio was the Karate Kid. Um, he oh, trained oh, under oh, Mr. Miyagi. Yes, he was the karate, karate Kid. The Mexican Kid. Mexican kid, okay. He was from Jersey, so in the movie he was from Jersey. I don't know if that's true or not, but in the movie he was like a Jersey Italian. Yeah, it was an Italian. It was like the like back when the like a greasy Italian kind the of like I mean, greasy thing. Will Smith's son went to China and was a karate kid. They have kung fu in China, not karate. Kung fu. They, they should have changed the name to the Kung Fu Kid. Remember the dog Kung Fu? Oh. Uh, huh. Kung, Kung Fu, Kung Kung Fu, Kung Kung Fu, I think. Yeah. yeah. Jammer fan probably don't know that one. How about Ricochet uh, Rabbit? Hong Kong Fui. Hong Kong Fui. Like a dog in Hong Kong Fui. Fui. So, I, I think I know what you're talking about, but like the main thing I remember about, like just when I think of Hong Kong, is um, you know, the Chinese Kung Fu. Right like, <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Do you guys remember the David Carradine series, Kung Fu, where oh, he wandered Kung the Fu, earth? Yeah. Like Snatch this. the pebble from my hand. Yeah, he stole that. Stuff. Walk across yeah. rice paper without leaving a trace. You guys yeah. know what happened to him, though, right? Do you guys know how he died? Yes, yeah, in a closet, little, hanging little, off a belt. With a lady boy. With a lady boy. Dressed as Batman. He was dressed as Batman? I didn't know that part. So I, the lady I, boy, I, lady boy that's is dressed contested. as Robin. That's contested, and I, I, to me, my life is not complete unless he was dressed like Batman. Can you imagine David Carradine choking himself out while jacking off dressed as Batman? It, it, I wish he really... wasn't jacking off. I wish they'd come across some lady boy <laughs> who will admit that dressed, she was there. Dressed as Robin and has pictures to prove it, but she's been holding on to him all this time. Or he, all she. Right, yeah. yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe less jacking Boston off in the typhoon. Yeah. Tidal wave. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Tsunami, yeah. I think he died That'd after the tsunami, don't he? <laughs> I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I, I just think, what a shame. I mean, all your life you've been going this way, and all of a sudden, boom. Your last no, you're known not as the kung fu guy, like you would think. Right. But, but instead, instead you're known as the guy that was in the closet that was dressed up. Yeah, with uh, a belt around your neck. Yeah. What about Robin Williams? Who knows? They say he committed suicide, but maybe he was getting off too. It was and a Jack off thing. Yeah, I I was well, I was really confused. Did that in the movie, and he said told the son to quit doing that, and then the son ended up dying doing it in the movie. I forget what the name of the movie was, but have you have you guys heard of What Dreams May Come with yeah, Robin Williams? Was that was a good movie. Yeah. It was yeah. depressing. But, but watch that yeah. movie. And then think about Robin Williams' death. What dreams may come? What what kind of come is, are they talking about in the movie? Well, you know? you're going way too deep now. Oh, <laughs> you just went perverted. Yeah, uh, we weren't being perverted <laughs> when we were talking about David Carradine. Oh yeah, Robin Williams. No, You've taken wondering this to like, a whole how, like, deep, level. How deep? Just this pure deep filth. I cannot believe a, girls, fan, a namesake of mine would bring this show down. To this level, <laughs> I am offended, sir. Offended. All right. Um, I would like to. I would like to. I'm gonna uh, submit a object to the court. Um, I'm going to um, submit into the court Shag Dog's account of eating chicks assholes. Just putting that. You know, we we've heard that on the channel. I'm gonna put that forward, and Shag Dog has many times on yeah, this channel. Yeah, he has gone down the Hershey Highway a few times. The too. Hershey Highway defense. This is the. That's actually what I'm doing, Jammer. The Hershey Highway defense. I haven't mentioned that often, do I? Ah, uh, yes, you have. The Hershey Highway defense. 
I haven't even looked at And one of your favorite, most famous lines I can still remember today, fat chicks need loving too. Right. <laughs> I, I oh, that's damning. That's damning evidence. I yes. haven't tossed a girl's salad in years. It's been about three years at least. <laughs> okay, I excuse you then. Yeah, I haven't right. got any young ones. Got nice you ones. got me. You you got me on that one. I can't. Deny. Yeah, you got me too. You got me too. All right. Completely, I, completely. Uh, you know, actually, you brought it up a level. Now it's funny <laughs> stuff like that. We won't get banned, but I talk about the C O I V I D dash nineteen, and the video gets banned. It's but because we can talk about the girl's asshole, and it won't get banned. It, I'm I don't know, man. Like, like, what kind of COVID nineteen are you talking about, bro? You going like full no, like, don't say like word. 5G? We'll get blocked. Are we yeah. going like five G? Bill Gates, five G? No, 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 not even that bad of stuff. Me, me and P Diddy were talking, and he and P Diddy was saying, you know what? We're talking about all this, and nobody's even got the FLU. Where's all the FLU cases and all this? Uh, no, why are you doing that? I'm spelling it. Yeah, but it don't matter. They can't spell. But anyhow, that's what we were talking about, simple stuff like that. We weren't going on any – even if we were going on a conspiracy theory, who cares? It's our own opinion, right? Yeah. Why would they block you on your own opinion or something? They think you're going to actually convince somebody of your opinion? Yes. Has anybody on my beer review who has ever watched me been convinced by me? Uh, I know that a lot of people have been driven to drink by you. That's about it. Yet yeah, I can I can say that like Shag Dog has maybe drink more because of his views. Yeah, but that's it, all right. I've never drink more. Have you licked an asshole lately? When you watch my videos about licking assholes, did you go out and lick one? Yeah, I mean, okay, I did. Oh, he said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, it was a, it was a. I I wanted to see what it was like. <laughs> I just trying to show that I'm a convincing person. That's all. <laughs> It tasted like roast beef, just like you said. Roast beef. Roast beef. <laughs> forbidden fruit. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, roast beef is the forbidden fruit. Like the it's like the roast beef starfish, baby. If you get to that time I did it, the girl told me to do it, and I was like, What? <laughs> she goes, Yeah, all guys do it. I'm like, Really? Yeah. I believed her. What <laughs> you believe? Naive son of a bitch. Like, you took a shower, right? Okay. You know, Dingleberry thing there? Beelzebub. It's Arby's. That's what they call it. Beelzebub Arby's. Arby's. It's, it's got that. It's like that yeah, devil. Arby's. That devil tuna. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. What grade did we give this? I don't think we graded it. Well, we need to grade it. All right, I'm going to give it a straight up C and a swallow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I could go with a C and a swallow. Yeah. Nothing spectacular, not too bad. There you go, C. Mm -hmm. Edge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there in the middle. Well, you guys cannot escape my audience question. I have a question for the audience. Oh, well, we got more comments from Tech Nine. Oh, yeah. Tech Nine. Well, yeah, they even see Hong Kong Philly was a dog. That's right. Yeah. And then yeah. Tech Nine said, "Big girls taste better." Big girls taste know. better. Yeah, Tech Nine's awesome. All right, yeah. End the video. We're good. Cut. Cut. Paste. What was your question? Uh, oh well, okay. You guys really want to get down to the dirty, gritty, nitty, 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 huh? All right. All right. Okay. Um, Shag Dog, how does oh, this wow. compare wow. to the? Let's check with our editor. Okay, go ahead. All right, Chad. How does this compare to the yeastier and more classy, as it seems, Modelo? How do you? How does this compare to Modelo Especial? How would you Modelo rate it? has way more flavor, stronger, not as sessionable as this one is. It's just the same as that when we compared it to the Corona. All right, yeah. Uh, I like the Modelo better. It has more flavor. A little stronger. Reminds right, me of yeah. a more Miller, Miller, strong Miller High Life. Right. I have no comment. Yeah. <laughs> because, I, I mean, I haven't had it in so yeah. long, I can't recall what it tastes like. Right. Well, that's that's an awesome answer. So, all right, peace out, guys. I'll catch yeah. you on the flip. I'm ready. If you guys want me to come on again, I'm ready to, like, I mean, 
Check this out. I'm ready to like adventure. I'm like seeing Shag Dog's soul right now. It looks bad. Your soul is uh, fucked up, dude. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. You got what a bad color? soul guy. I'm just kidding. You're what awesome, color? Shag Dog. You're awesome. What color is my soul? It's uh the color of like amber, like amber golden, like amber golden lager. So it's a little dark, but golden. Yes. Yeah, yeah. like dark, oh, dark, boy. like you know. A hint of like maybe oh, herpes and then like it's good. Loco. <laughs> so dark like Apollo Creed, but go to like Pony Boy. Yeah, okay. Let go of that. You know what's funny is that uh, most people don't remember that movie or the Paco Loco movie. Blood, blood in, blood, blood out. out. Blood out. Yeah, I was getting well, too confused. Shag dark Dog movie. and I already had our stay golden pony boy moments. We had like a whole golden we remember, dude. We we had like a whole. We were talking about stay golden, pony boy. What were we talking about? That's it. Stay well, yeah, like we, we were just like we don't remember stay things golden like that. pony boy. I remember something about pony boy. We talked about the because remember my shirt. Remember my golden girl shirt. I pulled it up. So so oh, jammer. Yeah. I had. I'm I'm into the golden girls, and I have a shirt that says stay golden, and it has all the golden girls. And I held it up, and it was like huh. stay golden. He's into the so, golden so girls. so jammer fan. Out of the Golden Girls, which one would you get with? If they're all in their prime. Back no, no. Of the As Girls. they are. As the show. As they are in the show. Yeah, in the show. Yeah. Oh, I already know my answer before you guys were even And that. I know you probably picked the typical one. Yeah, I think you're going to pick the Bla- uh, Betty White. No, I think you're going to pick Blanche. It is Betty White, but only for one reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, She's only for one re- <laughs> yeah. only for one reason is I, I I saw an interview that she she said that she hates beer so I figure she'll be a ball buster in the sack she'll just punch like just punch you right in the fucking gut and be like you're not having any beer I'm in charge I'm telling you what you're fucking drinking well, like I can I right like I Betty White's that. gonna fucking Ball busted, dude. It's like a dominatrix thing. Who, di- who died first, Sophia or Maud in real life? Yeah, that's what I'd take. Uh, I think Maud died first. Life insurance. Yeah, that's what I would. <laughs> You're going to go with the tall lady then. Yeah. Maud. Yeah. I forget her name in real life now. Though. Actually, but. The you know, author. If I, yeah. You can't really go with her because if you think about who's going to die first on the show, it's going to be the mother, so Sophia, mm-hmm. right? Well, let me put it this way. B was always being accused that she didn't uh, didn't have a boyfriend, didn't have sex, didn't, you know, all that stuff like that by her mother. Yeah. And then, of course, when she did have sex, she got back with her bald ex-husband most of the time. Yeah. Have now, you guys but- watched the show recently? It's actually, like, really, if you watch the show, like, now, it's actually pretty prescient. Like, when you watch it, it's like, holy shit, I understand like at least at our age, like watching it now, it's like holy shit! I understand the issues they're talking about. Have you guys like watched it lately? I haven't watched it lately, but I remember watching it in a day, you know, and I, and I remember watching reruns of it too. Uh, but I like the Golden Girls. I think they're funny as hell. You know? Yeah, I think it was a good show. Uh, but, but, they but then you, too. but then you have Blanche. Blanche was a run around, you know, slut basically. You know, yeah. she loved sex and loved men. Who who can deny? A woman who loves to have sex and, and and everything, you know. Right. Yeah. Sophia, Sophia, uh, you could tell she's a firecracker. You know, she's older now and all that stuff, but she was a firecracker back in her day. Yeah. And then you have Betty White, which was uh, what, what was her name on the show? Uh, Blanche. Golly, what was the what? What are the uh, Golden Girls' names? Ah, oh, damn it! Like I don't want to cheat. You got Sophia, Blanche, Blanche, and then you have Rue. Uh, Rue, no, Rue Callahan is like the lo- name of one of the ladies, right? Yeah, fine. That's the Ru- real name, Ruth Callahan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Golden Girls character. What was Betty White's character? Is what I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, no, you're. It's Blanche, it's been Dorothy. a while. Sophia and they have Betty White, of course. Uh, Rose. Rose. Yeah. 
Rose was the one that was kind of naive, but she was freaky as hell. So, so will you guys indulge me on one Golden Girls thing? Yeah. Um, I will share mine first, but I just I want to know one memory that you guys have from the Golden Girls that sticks out in your mind. And mine is when I was young, this was probably sometime between 1988 and 1991. My grandma used to have my mom and I over for a pork chop dinner, pork chop and green bean dinner. And she would always buy tickets to the lottery. And the lottery was always after Golden Girls. So we would like eat a pork chop and green bean dinner with mashed potatoes and then watch Golden Girls and then watch the lottery. So your mom was trying to kill your so grandmother. Really, it wasn't a memory about the Golden Girls. It was By more feeding of, her pork chops. Yeah, it was more of a memory of your mother and your grandmother and dinner. And the Golden Girls happened to be there during the time. I don't know, but it's nostalgic. Is it? Is that at least? Does that count as nostalgic? Like I just like that memory and my grandma and like we're like well, watching I, I, the lottery. Well, I tell you this much: there's certain moments in everybody's life, and there's certain things around that surround that moment. That's one of the memories that you're uh, having. That's uh, surrounded by the fact that yeah. the Golden Girls was around it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can remember the Golden Girls. I can't remember too much other than the fact that I remember watching it with my parents and my sister and all of us laughing. Not just one person. You know, not just a young older than me. The old person, but you everybody. You guys are like laughing. 10 years, well, maybe eight or nine. Sorry, eight or nine years older than me, right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, sorry. I'm interrupting you, man. Sorry. No, no, I'm just saying I, that's what I can remember. I can remember all of us watching it and laughing together. That's the funny yeah. part. I mean, because uh, most shows, you don't have everybody laughing at the same jokes. You know? Yeah. And it's a show that you can watch today and still yeah. crack up from. I can't remember watching shows with my family. I was adoptive. And even though they had serious shows, they were funny. Oh. I was you know? <clears throat> I do remember... I wasn't the Golden Girls, but my grandmother up in older age, a couple of years before she died, maybe about six, seven years before she died. Because she died a year after my eldest brother. But my brother was still alive. So it was a few years before my brother died. But I said, Grandma, my two brothers are sitting there. I said, Grandma, I might have mentioned this before on the beer review, but here I go and mention it again because it's funny. Grandma, you ever smell mothballs? And she's like, Yeah. And I said, How'd you get his little legs apart? And she just sat there for like a second, and then she thought about it for like two seconds, and then she started laughing. But when I was asking that, all I could see is my two brothers behind her, and they're like, like they can't believe I'm asking my mother, my grandmother, this joke. <laughs> That's the first time I told my grandmother a dirty joke, I guess. And they're all, they're both like, you know, like holy fuck, they can't believe I'm asking my grandmother if she ever smoked mothballs. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, but she she got it. She laughed. It's pretty good. Then the, even funnier is after my brother died, my grandma was in a nurse home at that point. Me, my mother, my girlfriend, my sister in law, my brother's wife go to the nurse home the day after my brother died to tell my grandmother that you know my brother died. And we saw her. We went to the nurse home. They saw we saw her. She was going back from the whatever dining area to her room from lunch. So we're like, okay, wait till she gets to her room. She couldn't see us from there. She's blind, you know. So she gets down to her room. We finally go down there. And my mother tells her, uh, Sean passed away. And my grandma was like, no. Why him? Why not oh, me? And my grand my mother goes, I know. I was thinking the same thing. But she meant for herself. But the way it sounded oh. to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Why him? Why not me? <laughs> my grandma, <laughs> to me, that's funnier than the ball ball one. Yeah. <laughs> and me, and my sister in law, my girlfriend, we're all like holding our laugh. We're laughing. You know, my mother's laughing. Actually, she realized what she said. Yeah. Jesus. That was horrible. <laughs> Dark humor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I have well, to ask you a question. 
So yeah, I was going to ask, are we doing a next one? Because I need to know for my planning. I, I'm down. I'm ready to come on with another mountain time and be ready to mountain time you guys up. Let's mountain time it. Yeah, let's move on to the next I one. Should, uh, make it, we should go to the public, see if they get that 12-pack. Uh, never mind. We're too drunk to drive, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, you mountain time it up, and we'll drink our next Dos Equis. Dos Equis Amber. Yes, I Amber. Oh yeah, yeah, the amber. Yeah, yeah. Amber, amber, amber. You made it out of clay. Amber, amber, amber. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am Shag Dog. Please give us all a beer review. Jammer, and our thank you to our special super duper co-host, uh, Jammer fan. Thanks for joining us, yes, watching, and subscribing, commenting, and liking, nine, yep. watching live. shouting out to Tech Nine. Tinkle that bell, people. Tinkle that bell. Be notified. Ring my the bell. bell. Oh, shit.